Check me out running down to the ring and you see who's in there waiting sting So for some reason we had a match on raw I didn't think we were gonna fight until the pay-per-view but as you see, I didn't waste any time at all. I came in here and attacked him before the bell even rang. And they gave me a signature move right out of the gate. And Sting's energy is already in yellow. You see that? His health bar. So they gave me a big advantage in this one. And I'm not going to complain. I'm just going to come out here and do my signature move right out of the gate. <laughs> And I was actually trying to do the Scorpion Deathlock, but they made me jump out of the ring. I was trying to hold down LB and hit Y, you know. I have that trait where you can steal other people's finishers. You know I like to be disrespectful. The legend killer, QJ Beast out of here. I took out The Rock, and now I am feuding with Sting, leading up to Night of Champions. And now he's reversing stuff. He's trying to get back at me. So, wrestling, did you guys see Monday Night Raw? It was crazy. The stuff that they have going on with Roman Reigns, feuding with Sheamus, and now Sheamus has some allies. Del Rio, Rusev, and King Barrett. Those four guys make up the League of Nations. Can you believe that? The group that Sheamus put together... And on Raw, they even had New Day come out and have some fun. It was seven on four. Roman, Dean Ambrose, and the Oos. Oh, look, Scorpion Deathlock on the outside of the ring on Sting. Can you believe that? I'm still in his move, and he is in pain, but he gets out. So like I was saying, they had a seven on four handicap match. To which the Usos ended up getting taken out. So toward the end of the match, it was pretty much just Ambrose and Roman Reigns going up against seven guys. Can you believe that? The League of Nations and New Day, they were out there killing it. It was crazy. I think it was entertaining. I've never seen an event like that where there's like seven people on one team. I don't know. Seven on four, it was a handicap match. Very unfair, and the heels ended up coming out on top on Monday Night Raw. They were happy. They were excited. And one thing I noticed when they were up there, when the New Day was up there, Del Rio, Sheamus, those guys are holding titles. All of the titles are being held by heels, except the Divas, but, you know, as far as the men, even Kevin Owens is a heel, and he has the Intercontinental title. So that's pretty crazy to me right now. And, of course, you know Dean Ambrose is the number one contender for the Intercontinental title. And the Usos are actually going to be going up against New Day for the tag team titles, along with the Lucha Dragons. I believe they're still in the match also. You see, I'm hitting it with the QJ Buster. And I'm about to go for the pin. Get this one over with. Sting can barely even stand. You know what I mean? I've been doing my thing. Out of oh, he kicked out. Holy moly. Holy moly. That's a precaution. Damage I have no idea how he did that. But I'm going to have to come out here and cause some more damage on the outside. Sting might not make it the Night of Champions. I am putting a beating on him here on Monday Night Raw. But like I was saying, yeah, Raw was crazy. I really enjoyed it. Even the stuff with the females, you know what I mean? You know, Charlotte being sneaky, going behind Becky Lynch's back to win that match the way that she wanted. That was crazy, right? And check me out. Look, <laughs> I was trying to do the Scorpion Deathlock again, and I got out of the ring, man. They got to fix that. I was too close to the ropes. Anyway, but I think they're doing pretty good with the story. I would like to see how this goes with Roman Reigns going up against Sheamus. Because as you know, at TLC, they will be fighting in a tables, ladders, and chairs match. Which will be absolutely insane. I know they're going to push their body to the limit. I know they are going to do some crazy stuff in that match. Speaking of tables, the Dudley boys brought back Tommy Dreamer. And they are feuding with the Wyatt family. Scorpion Deathlock on Sting. Can I get him to tap? Look at me. Look, I'm I can't get into his area. And I finally am. 
chasing him around, but he's gonna get out. You see that? You have to like move the little thing around the circle to try to get him to tap out. I like it better that way than it was last year though on 15, but it's still kind of difficult to me. Anyway, like I was saying, that's gonna be some hardcore stuff going on. If they have like a TLC match at TLC or even if they just have like a table match, that will be absolutely insane. They're bringing the ECW vibe back to the WWE, the hardcore stuff, and the Wyatt family fits right into that, you know? So it will be interesting to see how all of these matches go. I'm ready for the pay-per-view. I am ready for the pay-per-view already, even though it's like, what, two weeks away? We still got like two Monday Night Raws, two SmackDowns to go. But I'm ready to see what's going to happen right now. I know it's going to be insane. I cannot wait to see Roman Reigns and Sheamus. I know something crazy is going to happen. I'm pretty sure the League of Nations is going to interfere in the match or something, you know? They're going to cause Roman Reigns to lose at TLC. I don't think he's going to win the belt back that fast, you know? They might make him wait a couple more months, let Sheamus go on his little run that he has going on right now with the League of Nations and all that stuff because it is a good story. I'm not even going to lie. I like the way that it's going right now. Let me know in the comments. Are you feeling the way that the story is going right now in the WWE? I am definitely feeling it. And look at me. Another QJ Buster busting Sting wide open. But I did not even try to pin him. I wanted to cause more damage and inflict more pain to my rival. The legend killer is QJ Beast. And we have a five star match going on here on Monday Night Raw. Can you believe that? How are we going to top this at the pay-per-view? I have no idea. But I'm still doing my thing. Look, I wanted to do <laughs> Look, I wanted to steal his move again, but they're not letting me. So I'm just going to charge my finisher one more time and I'm going to hit Sting. What is this like the third or fourth QJ Buster in this one match? What in the blue moon? He definitely is out for the count. There is no way he's kicking out of this. I'm gonna walk out of here with a W. So let me know what you thought about Monday Night Raw. How do you feel about the story and the way it's going? The League of Nations and all that stuff. I keep on wanting to say League of Legends. <laughs> you know? That nah. Peace.